Up, you better come with me. Where did you spring from? What? What's this all about? You're drunk. Not drunk, Bill. A, a little dopey. There's no difference. Yes, there is. I may be a little dopey, but not with alcohol. I'm not pie-eyed. I'll make a special note of this. I've... I've been drugged. Oh, blimey. What have I done to deserve you? There must be a curse on me. Any time it's something particularly unpleasant and you're involved in it, I'm the muggage bound to be dragged in. Will you stand still? I am standing still! Shh. Conquest! Conquest, now, what have you been up to? Come on out, talk, and talk sense. Talk sense? Bill, be reasonable. I, I can't even think. But what I need is some coffee. Now, look, if you're stalling Conquest, I advise you to cut it out. A man was killed in this room a few minutes ago by falling out of that window. And you must have been here. Say that again? You heard me. A man fell out of that window and you were in this room. I guess I must have been, because I'm only just getting back into circulation. This window? Yes. It's a long way to the pavement, Bill. He was killed instantly. That's a very clever bit of deduction. Yes. Amazing. What do you know about a man called Reynolds? Reynolds? Oh, Sir Joshua, great... Now, look here, Conquest. You... All right, Bill, all right. I never heard the name before. I believe you're Mr. Reynolds. It's just one of your phony names. Shut those doors, Sergeant. I don't know what your game is, but this time it's something pretty smelly. Why didn't you go to the desk in the ordinary way and take your key? Oh, wait a minute, Bill, a little slow. I didn't get that. They told me down at reception that Reynolds hadn't booked in. Oh, don't blame me. It was the girl. What girl? The blonde. Oh. It's a racing certainty to be a blonde in the game if you're mixed up in it. Bill, I fell for the oldest gag in the world. Uh, what gag? If you stop barking at me, I'll try to tell you how I came to be in this room and meet the girl. All right. So there's a blonde. Where is she? I was afraid you were going to ask me that. What is this place? Where are we? My flat, of course. I told you I've taken precautions. There's only one or two people who know me here. I told them that I was a dancer and that I occasionally dance in London. But I like to have a little place of my own. All very soon, my friend. You told us nothing of this. Of course. Oh, come on, take off your coat. Make yourself comfortable. I'll make you a little coffee. We have an awful lot to talk about. And after asking me a question, sort of password, and not getting the right reply, she pulled a trick gun and squirted a Mickey Finn in my face. Oh, turn it up. Who do you think you are, Hans Anderson? I assure you it's the truth, pure and unadulterated. If you want to know more, find the blonde. I believe this whole thing's your own tatter-diddle. My what? Uh, tatter-diddle. You made it up yourself. Oh. I want to know your real reason for coming in here. I want to know who that man is and how he came to fall out of that window. Well, that makes two of us. I must have been out for the better part of an hour. Look, Mr. Williams, the... Uh, Superintendent doesn't believe my story about the blonde. I'm pretty certain she occupies a room on this floor. You should know. She's uh, uh, foreign, uh, expensively dressed, and hits you smack and... Oh, it must be... It must be Miss Rodin. Rodin? Could be. Who's she? She's a member of the trade delegation. The secretary is one of the delegates in Suite 600. <laughs> Mustn't have any trouble with them, you know. You see, Bill? If only you'd have a little more faith in me. You shut up! All right, Mr. Uh... Atwell, sir. Two T's, two O's, and two L's. All right, you can go. Mr. Williams? Yes? May I have a word with you, sir? Yes, all right. Come on. There's something queer, sir. The police surgeon asked me to tell you the poor devil was dead before he fell from the window. Did I always know so much? How does he know? Something to do with the bleeding. Oh. Well, 
conquest. This is going to settle you, chum. That man was dead before he fell from that window. And as for you being doped, anybody can fake that kind of act. I hope you realize what you're implying. What do you want me to do? Confess to murder? I always said one day you'd go too far. You came here to see this man. You threatened him with something. He grabbed the telephone, got through to Scotland Yard and shouted for help. Then you had a fight and killed him. Did I? Yes. I don't say you did it deliberately, but when you found he was dead, you went over to the window and faked the struggle. Hold on a minute while I try to follow your tortuous reasoning. I threatened this guy. Yes. He got scared. Yes. Grabbed the phone. Yes. Called Scotland Yard. That's right. What was I doing in the meantime, holding his hand? How do I know? Oh, Bill, be yourself. I told you, I don't believe you did it deliberately. That's mighty decent of you. After that, instead of sliding off the open spaces, I stayed here in this room and waited until you came and found me. Can't you see your whole theory is pure nonsense? All I know is that a dead man was thrown out of that window while you were in this room. Now, can you or can't you tell me who he is? No. I can, sir. Hey? You knew him well. Name of Gregor. Gregor? I knew him well. Trade delegation, sir. Trades delegation. Oh, what a lovely mess. Conquest, I'm arresting you on a charge of complicity, get that? In the murder of the man Gregor. And I you warn you that anything you... Unless we can find our way to South America or some such place, we might as well be rats in a trap. We'll get there. Don't worry. Anything is possible. But money. It's money that matters. Come, I'll show you something. English pounds. Where did you get these, Nadina? If they had been found for you. But they haven't. We enjoy diplomatic immunity of the customs. Easy. Who? Who gave them to you? A certain gentleman of our foreign office. He likes money as much as we do. They are his, then? No. Look, it's like this. He is working for Baron von Henschel of the Gestapo. The diamonds were looted by the Baron from Rotterdam. And I was going to give them to his agent. But that is nonsense. Von Henschel is dead. You, you will say next that Hitler is a... Look, I'm only repeating what I'm told. This man from the Foreign Office assures me that he is in contact with the Baron. Where is he? Who knows? But this Von Henschel has collected a big fortune for himself in this country. Now, my contact had these diamonds for over a year. Then he passed them on to me to bring them to London. Hmm. I was to meet Baron Von Henschel's agent and receive thousand pounds from my work. Something was wrong. But now I have other ideas. Perhaps we can outwit this agent and obtain possession of the whole of Baron von Henschel's fortune. Now, why couldn't I go home and mind my own business? You mean conquest, sir? Yes, conquest. Every time he gets involved in a case, the yard pushes it under me. Why? Why me? He's looked on as your pigeon. Pigeon? Don't you talk to me about pigeons. Anyway, we got him under arrest. And how long do you think we'll hold him this time? I don't know. I've been dreaming about it every night for months. For years. Getting him on a serious charge and making it stick. Uh, excuse me, Superintendent. This is Mr. Barkoff from the Embassy. Yeah. Roth and Gurgen, where are they? Who? The people Gregor came to see. Now he is dead, where are they? The first I've heard of them. I can tell you about them, sir. <laughs> uh, they're residents here, sir. Eh? They're residents, so they're members of the trade delegation, I spoke of. Well, we better go and see their room. You must find Boris Rafi van Burgen and Raja Nerogen. Yeah, excuse me. Yes, yeah, sir. Every sign of a hurried departure. Yes, I feared. While everything is confusion, they escape. Looks very much like it, sir. And they kill poor Gregor and walk out of the hotel. Hello? One moment, sir. I don't think we need to keep you any longer, sir. We'll do what we can to find him. If you just give the inspector the descriptions and the photographs, you can go now. Good night. This way, sir. I've just had four phone calls from the embassy. They want the body at once. They want the murderers at once. And they want a full explanation also at once. Where are those trade delegate fellows? Well, they can't have gone far, sir. We're circulating descriptions. Conquest? Says he knows nothing about it. 
Says he came here as a sort of joke to meet a girl. I don't believe a word of it. Look here, Williams. You mustn't let your prejudices against conquest affect your judgment. I can't see him mixing himself up in this sort of thing. It's not his line of country at all. Have another talk with him. I will, sir. He's down at the West End Station, sir. So I let him go, sir? This business is far more important than your feud with conquest. We've got to find those two men and the girl. Keep in touch. Yes, of course, sir. As a matter of fact, I was, uh... Well, Hello? Hello? <laughs> Well, madam. Ah, there you are. What the dickens do you mean by clapping Norman in irons? Of all the stupid things to do, charging him with murder, if you've gone completely mad. Listen, Pixie, I didn't want to arrest him, I had to. All the evidence pointed that way. What evidence? What was he doing in this hotel? What do you know about all this? Will you stand still? It's not me, it's you. All I've heard is a man was killed and, and you've arrested Norman for it. I haven't. Keep that door locked. I arrested him for being concerned in it. Giving me some wonderful story about a contact in room 605. And of all the tripe in the world, something about killing a pigeon with a golf ball. What do you want me to do? Kiss him? Oh, blimey, go on. Well, I don't know. I've heard some stories in my life, but he comes out with some stuff. He ought to get an Oscar. You can't blame me for not believing it. Why? Pigeons do carry messages? Yes, but not about beautiful girls, they don't. Oh? Which girls? Only one. Nadina Rodin. Uh, who's she? Who's she? The contact. When she found out he was the wrong bloke, she put him out. Put him out? Drugged him. Only slightly. No ill effects when he came round, I'm afraid. Still, it's nice to know he can slip up sometimes. Yeah. Have you seen this girl? No. Do you know what she's like? No. Nope. Know what she's like? Oh, yes. She's, uh... She's got a, a figure like a, like a sylph. That's it. And, uh... Dancing blue eyes. And, uh... Blonde hair. All glistening. Well, that's how Conquest described her. Little smasher, he said. Oh, he did, did he? Hmm. Bottom piece. Full of sex appeal. I'm not surprised he fell for her. Pixie, why don't you take him away somewhere? Somewhere where he can't get interested in blondes. Cuba, for example. Watch closely. It's, um, it's as easy as uh, this. Now you try. Oh, so you finally come. Thank you, sweetheart, for getting things moving. You can go, Conquest. Is that all? All right, I apologize. Even if you didn't tell me the truth about the blonde. Oh, yes, Norman. The little smasher. What have you been telling her, Bill? Only that you were in that room with her, alone. What do you mean by that? What could I mean? How can a guy get fresh when he's lying spread-eagled on the floor, drugged? You didn't know she was going to attack you. You thought you were going to have some fun, didn't you? You two are going to fight, you better go outside. What are you doing, Constable? Nothing, sir. Oh, really? Do me a favor, get him out of here. Take him far away where he can't interfere in this Gregor business. Cuba, for example, with all the blondes, the brunettes. That's right. I'm having enough trouble finding your girlfriend's boyfriends. What boyfriend? Well, we have reason to believe that the... Uh... Uh, getting cautious, Bill? We have reason to believe that Gregor was killed by your blonde and her two compatriots. Now get out of my hair and stop interfering. That's the last thing I intend to do. Their whole idea was to involve me in a messy murder. I go after people like that. You just watch and see how I keep out of it. You want to meet that girl again? Correct, sweetheart. And when I do see her, I'm going to put her over my knee and smack no. her. And as for her boyfriends who tried to festoon a murder wrap around my neck, I'm going to switch on the limelight, a whole cluster of limelight. Now, if you start interfering and hampering... Hampering, Bill. I'm going to help them. The more publicity, the 